Hey guys, Nick Drossos and welcome to Code Red Defense. Today we're going to be looking at how to talk to your attacker, whether it's verbal or physical. And this is very important because um, what you say and what your body says, he's going to be reading and he's going to be feeding off. Okay? I always tell people that when you're going to defuse a situation, the first thing is Obviously, you want to keep your hands up. I don't want to say, look, man, I don't want to fight, and yet I'm in a fighting stance. What is my body saying is that I don't want to fight. So what I'm saying must also what I'm saying must also be congruous with my body. So if my hands are up and I'm trying to defuse a situation, I always tell people, what's the key and trick to defusing a situation? Be honest. Really defuse a situation. Don't only do it out of strategy, really try to talk your way out of a fight. And I worked in clubs and I saw people fight over the dumbest stupidest things. And I've seen people take beatings over the dumbest and stupidest thing. I saw a guy get his ass kicked and all the other guy told him, apologize. Fuck you man, I'm not gonna apologize. Well guess what, and three guys jumped in and beat the shit out of him until we had to jump in. Okay, so when you're talking to your attacker, listen to the words. I'm listening to the words, but I'm also studying his body language, but I'm also staying aware of my body language. I like to keep my tone of voice I don't want to be like, look, man, I don't want to fight. Look, man, I really don't want to fight. I'm sure we can talk about it. My voice is staying neutral. As I'm talking to him, I'm studying his body language at the same time. I'm not allowing him to get any anything. And I'm, you know, I, I'm talking in a way that I'm trying to control the situation. I'm trying to defuse. It's very simple. I'm either going to allow him to control the conversation or I'm going to control the conversation, which means whoever controls the conversation also can control the fight. Meaning, if he pushes me, and I'm just I'm like, yeah, fuck you, man, what, you want to fight you? I just played into his trap. I played into his game. However, if he pushes me, push me, and I get this out, I say, look, man, I really don't want to fight. What's the problem? And I'm keeping my voice. Right now, I'm drawing him in. I'm setting up my first strike, the verbal, the psychology. I'm going to lower his guard. I'm going to raise his ego, and I'm going to get, I'm going to set up to throw that first truck. I can't do it if I'm like, yeah, well, fuck you, man. Once I do that, I'm escalating the situation. And he's also preparing for me to hit and counter or for him to go preemptive. So your verbal as well as your body is very important. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you want to learn more self-defense, we have an hour and a half video on just verbal defense. So we'll put the link in the description. Go click on it. Go check out this hour and a half action-packed video. And I want to thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the other side. Stay safe and stand strong.